everybody. A healthy How do I put this now? A healthy sex life with your partner will avoid a lot of drama. It will avoid a lot of drama. I can categorically say this without apology that a lot of people don't enjoy their sex life. Most of you that are saying 100%, when I'm done with you, you will know whether you're still 100% or not. You know, sex can be used as a tool in your love life. And if you are not careful, you'll be emotionally attached to a man, not because you love him, but because you love how he handles you on the bed. That the same thing applied to a woman. So despite the red flags you see, despite all the red flags you see, you are still there. In some cases, the woman does not even enjoy the relationship, doesn't even enjoy the intimacy. You see, one of the worst things, see, one of the worst things in this generation is the spirit of pretense. I can categorically tell everybody here that 79 to 80% of people watching me don't enjoy their sex life. The way your partner does it, you don't like it. But you can't talk about it because if you talk about a woman said to me, I like it when I'm on top of my man, but I can't tell my husband because my husband is a pastor. The first time I told him, he said, who taught you that nonsense? Can you just imagine? No, can you just imagine the kind of disaster that most people go through in the name of spirituality, religion, If many people here can talk to me one-on-one -on -one with their partners in front of them, most of their men, most of their women will know that they have never enjoyed their intimacy with their partner. And you know what I'm saying is true. Some people can't talk. A woman said to me, I hate having intimacy with my man. Because anytime I have intimacy with him, I bleed for one week. That's punishment. And she has been there for 10 years. She bleeds. You can't talk to him because he gets offended. One of the worst things that can happen to any woman or any person, not just a woman. One of the reasons why I'm always using women is because I want men to, be, to understand the way of a woman. I'm not saying women don't have their stress. One of the most difficult people on the face of the planet are women. So I know what I'm talking. One of the most difficult human beings on the face of the planet are the female species. The female species are something else. And that's why it takes a matured man. It takes a man that understands patience, understands tolerance, understands overlooking. It's not everything in marriage a man talks about. In fact, if you talk everything to your woman, you will die before your time. Is the truth. So in as much as women like the truth, they can't handle it. I'm saying this is a reality. In as much every woman wants the husband or the boyfriend to be truthful, I can tell you 99% of women cannot handle the truth. I stand to be corrected, but in my years of counseling people and relationships and marriages, I can tell you categorically without no reasonable doubt, not every woman can handle the truth. Now, there are five things that makes your sex life to be poor. Number one is unhappiness. Let me tell you something. When two couples are not happy, your sex life will be boring. Emotional stability is what makes the bed enjoyable. I want you to type that. Emotional stability is what makes the bed enjoyable. When there is no emotional stability, the man is upset at the woman, the woman is upset at the man, both of you are just pretending, but both of you, they are angry with each other, it will affect your performance on the bed. 
How many people are, emo how many relationships are emotionally stable? Let's be real. How many relationships are emotionally stable? Most relationships are not emotionally stable. Most marriages are not emotionally stable. Is that that the woman is suspecting the man or the man is suspecting the woman? A woman said to me, every time she comes back from work, her husband will take her undies and smell it to see if the smell changes. If the smell changes or if he feels that the smell is changing, he will beat the woman from as she came back from work till the next morning. The woman will go to work with all kinds of bruises on her face and yet she's in such kind of place in the name of marriage. The Bible says, who has bewitched you, O oh foolish Galatians. One of the things that makes me know that you are bewitched is when you act foolishly. So how can you, how many people, many of you think, see, I hear women say, I, I, I come, I've come. Do you, know, do you know what it means to come? Do you know what it means for a woman to get to your climax? Do you know what it means? Your brain will look as if it wants to come out, come out of your head. You'll be weak. You'll be weak from your head to your toe. We don't teach this in churches. It's a sin. It's a sin. So people are dying slowly. No, we don't teach this in churches. Submit to your husband. That's what they teach us. Submit to your husband. And people are dying of silent drama it's it's the fact how many relationships how many marriages are stable emotionally the woman doesn't know how to talk the man is stubborn so the two parties are just there's no feelings when last did you enjoy your intimacy with feelings Oh my God, I'm talking about real feelings. That as the man taught you, your body responds. As the woman taught you, your body responds. When last did you have that? When last? Tell yourself the truth. It's not coming on social media and start pretending as if all is well. When last did you, when, or when your man taught you, you say, here he comes again. So women, they just lie there, just do whatever you want to do. It's now like an, you know, intimacy. Sex has now become like an obligation. It's not enjoyable. It's now, obli it's now obligation. Oh, it's my husband. He wants me. Oh, yeah. Just do what you want to do. When you do finish, just do quick. In your mind, self, you've been saying, please just do whatever you want to do. And the man just comes on you, bah, 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 like, a, like a dog, like an animal. No foreplay, no nothing. So the woman feels nothing. There's no feelings. I don't know if I'm talking to people here. You know, when you say the truth, you are attacked. When you say the truth, you are not born again. No, when you say the truth, you are no more a pastor. When you say the truth, you are, you are, you are an antichrist. Uh, I don't understand. You are an antichrist. When, when you say the truth, you become a target. People call you all sorts of names. I'm saying something here today. It's a problem. It's a huge problem. It's a huge, huge, huge problem that has messed up the fabrics of people's minds. People no more enjoy. Listen, listen, this is spiritual. Any child that is produced out of a stable home will take care of his parents and be responsible to his society or our society. But most children today are not responsible because the people that brought them into this world brought them into a chaos environment. And in fact, when last did your kids see you and your partner throwing pillows at each other? Playing. When last did you see mommy chasing daddy around the table, around the house? When did you play hide and seek and your kids are watching? When, oh my God, when last? When last were you playing? When last did you tickle your woman when she's in the kitchen? And, and, and oh my goodness, and your child is watching. Because listen to me, kids, they learn from pictures, not from words, not from flogging. 
not from discipline. Kids learn from pictures. They see. They see. They have a sharp memory. They see. I personally did. I did not grow up seeing my father pursuing my mother all over the house. I didn't grow up seeing my parents lovey dobby, lovey dobby, you know, clicky, clicky, clicky. No, just check. Let me shock you. If a camera can be put in every home in the world, you will understand why the bed is boring. Even the way they sleep, you will know that these two, these two people don't love each other. Or these two people, emotionally, they are not connected. I've come to realize that 60% of barren women have a poor sexual relationship life with their partner. I repeat, 60% of women that are always trusting God for the fruit of the womb, that are trusting God for babies, if you check the sexual performance between them and their partners, it's, it's, it's not even up to 5%. So how would the baby come? Everything is not spirit husband. Everything is not spirit wife. There are some things that foolishness has made us to suffer. And we keep binding the devil for years. We keep, we keep breaking causes that is not there. We keep attacking strong men that are innocent. And wake up unnecessary battles to our life. I don't know if I'm talking to people here tonight. I don't know if I'm talking to people here tonight. The first thing, emotional instability. That's the first thing that makes your, se your sexual life with your partner to be poor. To be totally boring. No feelings. No feelings at all. Many of you looking at me now. Your feeling for your partner has died. You just don't know how to come out of the relationship. You just don't know how to come out of the marriage. That feelings you had is no more there. And sometimes the feelings dies because of cheating. Sometimes the feelings die because of bad words, character, attitude, behaviors. The feelings die of lack of attention, lack of communication. I, I, I don't know if I'm talking to people here. So a lot of things are involved in the feelings. Mm. I think I'm wasting your time. Let me let me let me just cut the video. I think I'm wasting your time. I think I'm wasting your time. Maybe you don't enjoy. Maybe you are not enjoying the broadcast. <laughs> so Franama Shelescovali Agastes. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Share the video. Okay, share the video. Share the video. If you, you, you need to share this to your partner. You need to share this on your timeline. Everybody, most of you on Facebook, share this on your timeline. Those of you on TikTok, please share the video. Tap on your screen. Those of you on Facebook, tap on the love and the like button. Those of you on YouTube, please tap on the thumbs up. It's important. Your stability emotionally. Do you know that when a woman is happy with a man, and when a man is happy with a woman, both partners, only kissing your partner can make your partner get to climax. Just kissing alone. You have not even, you have not even started. Just holding her, caressing her, as taking her to cloud nine. You have not even done nothing yet. But because there is no feelings, you have to start warming the car like, a, like an engine that is dead. Because no feelings. No feelings. Many of you are in dead relationships. That's why there's cheating. Oh, I'm telling you the truth. That man that cannot sleep with you in the, for, for two, three months... There are women looking at me now. There are women looking at me now. Your man has not touched you for more than one year. Six months. I have a daughter. She, had, she has divorced a man. Her husband did not touch her 
from the day they married, from the night of the marriage to the eighth year. She was there for eight years. Whether she was under his spell, I don't know. But for eight solid years, the man did not touch her. And she married a pastor. And he had girlfriends. So are you telling me that he did not, he's not sleeping with his girlfriends? Uh, another thing that makes your sexual life to be poor is dirtiness. Dirtiness. Some people are dirty. Oh, Jesus. They are so dirty. Dirtiness has made your partner to be irritated. Dirtiness. Smell nice. Get perfume as a woman. Women get perfume. Have a nightgown, a transparent nightgown that is neat. Shave down there. Shave it. Don't be bushy like the like rainforest. Be clean. Man, wash your teeth. Use cologne. Use perfume. Smell good. You don't bring your mouth to your woman and everything is smelling of Uzziah. Uzziah is coming out. It can, it can, it, as the woman perceives the smell in the mouth, all her feelings dies. Dirtiness. You rub Kalama lotion on your face and you are a married woman. What concern a married woman with Kalama lotion? Dirtiness has messed up many, many beds. You are a woman. Every woman should bath three times a day. At least twice. You come back from work with all your smelling and your dirtiness and everything, and you just, you just, you just go. Ah, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? No bathing, no nothing. Then you complain that your partner does not touch you. You are smelly like Uzziah. Meanwhile, there's a side chick in the office who smells good. It's very, very important. Dirtiness is a major key. A lot of men, your mouth is smelling. That's why your woman does not enjoy kissing you. Your mouth is smelling. It is the, I'm telling you a reality now. I'm telling you a reality now. Some of you women that like a man to give you a head, down there is smelling. You don't bath. You are not clean. How do you expect him to do it? No, how do you, how do you expect him to do it? You are not clean. You are not you smelling lies. Then you complain that your man does not do this. He doesn't do that. He doesn't give me a head. He doesn't do this. He doesn't, doesn't kiss me. No, you got to look, you got to look appealing. You got to look clean. This has nothing to do with spirituality or quoting Bible or, or no, 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 sir. This is, oh my goodness. I, I, I don't know if, am I blessing you tonight? My calling is different too. I have a very different calling, sir. Very, very different calling. My calling is highly different. Some people can smell. One singlet for how many how many months? Every woman here should understand that you should change your panties at least every three months. You are a dirty woman if you have a panties for one year. What's your problem? You should have, every woman should know that you have panties for your period during your period session. You should have panties outside of your period. You don't use the same panties that you use for this period, for the next period. Be clean. One of the worst things that has happened to a lot of people sexually these days is infection. A lot of people are having infections, not because they are cheating, but because of dirtiness. Dirtiness. I don't need to be a doctor to know that. Dirtiness. It's not spiritual, but it's dirtiness. 
somebody said the body should be detoxed every three months. That's true. The body should be detoxed every three months. Most especially a woman's body should be detoxed every three months. A man's body should be detoxed every six months. It's important to clean yourself from any form of infections and whatever it is. Cleanliness is important. It, it, it increases the, 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 oh my goodness, am I, am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Am I blessing you? Please click on the love, love, love button. Click on the love. Just tap on your screen. Those of you on TikTok, keep tapping. Those of you on Facebook, tap on the love and the like button. Those of you on YouTube, tap on the thumbs up. You need to be clean. The Bible says Esther perfumed her body for six months. She rubbed cream on her body for six months for one night with the king. Esther took care of her skin. Some women that you are married does not mean you should, you should not take care of yourself. When I see a lot of married women, I understand why their husbands go out to look for side, side chicks. That you are that your child is not a punishment. You have a husband to also take care of. And one thing women don't know is this. Your husband is your first child. Your husband, your man is your first child. That's one thing men, most women don't know. So the minute they start giving birth, they start concentrating more on their children than their husband. Your child is going to grow up, marry his own wife, marry her own husband, leave you, and you will still now face that man. Yes, that man that you have been living since you will not face him. And that time your eye go clear. It's important. I don't blame some men. Some men will tell you, I can't give my woman a head. Why? She's dirty. Some women will say, I can't kiss my husband. He's dirty. The mouth is smelling. As a man, shave your shave here, shave all this place. Rub colon, have deodorants. I recommend um, the toy soap for every man. Me personally, I recommend the toy soap for every man. I recommend that particular soap for every man to use because cleanliness is important when it comes to the bed. If you are hearing me say, I hear, I hear. Some people, if you see them, their dirtiness can kill an ocean full of fishes. It, it's, it's irritating when I see what is happening in marriages, relationships this year, these days. A woman was sharing with me today that I should help her to handle a case. She's a prophetess. She said, you know, uh, a couple got married just this December, this December that just passed, and they, are, and they are fight for divorce. The marriage is not even up to eight months. They are fight for divorce. I've told you guys, it's not just about marriage. It's not just getting married. Are you happy? It's not just bearing Mr. and Mrs. Are you, are you happy? You see this calling that God gave me? It's a very, very sensitive, difficult calling. And it takes a bold man to be able to handle this kind of calling. Oga, be clean. Madam, be clean. Be clean. Look appealing. Be clean. Smell good. Only a dirty woman goes to bed without deodorant. Oh, yes, I said so. It's for your own good. Though. What I'm teaching you tonight is for your good. It's for your good. It's for your good. If you like, mm, to him, brain is given. Sense is expected. It's for your good. You like obey, praise God. You don't obey, it's your, it's your wahala. Another thing that kills 
sex on bed is wrong looks. Every woman should know the place of seduction. You must constantly seduce your man. Who told you you cannot ask your man for sex? Who gave you that rubbish, that rubbish mentality? Who told you that you cannot be the one to, 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 to initiate the move? Must it always be a man that will always touch you every night? Can't you make the move? The body of the man belongs to his woman. That's what the Bible says. And the body of the woman belongs to his man. You don't make love because you feel like it. You make love because your partner wants it. Let's get that straight. There is nothing that I am not in the mood. You are not in the mood. Another person will be in the mood on your behalf. Another person. If you know how many women are praying for you to misbehave so that the man will leave you. If you know how many men are praying for you to misbehave, for the woman to leave you, both of you will be normal. You know what? You'll be normal. The problem with a lot of, a lot of you is that you don't know that you are replaceable. You don't even know that you are replaceable. You don't know. If, if you know you are replaceable, you will, you will sit tight. You will hold your man with your 32 fingers. You will hold your woman with your 32 fingers. Women understand the place of seduction. Seduce your man. Seduce your man. What are you wearing jeans? on bed for are you are, are you are you a principality are you a principality what are you wearing pants on bed for every wise woman should know that she should be naked on the bed with her partner madam what are you wearing pants for no i want to i want to understand who are you wearing what are you wearing it for You, I don't understand. What is the pants for? You are with your man. You are you are lying down. Instead of you to wear a transparent nightgown, a nightgown that is transparent and seductive, as the man is reading newspaper or watching TV in the bedroom, the woman you just you have that your transparent nightgown. You cut walk to front of the TV with your high heel. Who told you that it's only when you go to work you should wear high heel? That is what all those women are doing outside that are collecting your husband. Oh, meme, listen. If you live, listen. I'm teaching you something for free. This, are, this is what those devils do out there. That they are collecting your husband. This is what they are doing. Collecting your husband. And you are there to behaving like Mama Yabo. You are behaving like Yasikira. You are behaving like Mama Kafayat. It is high time you wake up, oh, wake up. Otherwise, somebody will wake him up for you. They say, when you just catwalk to front of the TV with your transparent nightgown, you catwalk to front of the TV, you bend down and see if you want to pick a remote. Let him see what he bought. Let him see the, let him see the ministry. Let him see your shape. Let him see what is missing. Let him, oh my, I feel the anointing as I'm speaking. My father, my father. Let him feel, let him, this is the, you must seduce your man, madam. If he's not in the mood, switch him to the mood. Switch him. Ah. Uh. If you are feeling me, say, I'm feeling you, Papa. <laughs> this is more than prayer. This is, this is more than shouting amen. This is more than telling you the witches in your father's village is dying. This is more than it. The Bible says my people perish, not because of lack of prayer, but because of lack of knowledge, 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 knowledge. Delilah did not sleep with Samson. Yet he, she messed up Samson. Because she made her laps to become the pillow of Samson's head. She makes she made her laps. 
to become his pillow. What are you talking about? Seduction works. You need to have it as a woman. That your man cannot, see, let me tell you, that your man cannot resist you, even if he's not in the mood. Are you a woman that your man can resist? Your bad character alone, I've turned off the man. The man doesn't even want, if you like naked self, he don't send you because you're for bad, your mouth, your bad character. If you are feeling me, say, I'm feeling you, Papa. Maleros kavish anamahates. Men dressed of reheti lakases. Men, ah, you have to be seductive. Please understand. Let, let, let the bed be fun. Let the bed be fun. Let the bed be fun. Let it be fun. It's not always missionary style from month from January to December. What kind of boring lifestyle is that one? Missionary style. The man will always be on top. Come on. Who told you that you cannot be on top? Which sin? Which sin is that one? No, which sin? I want to understand. I don't know the Bible some of you are reading. In Songs of Solomon, Solomon even taught us how to make love. He talked about the breast of a woman. He talks about the, 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 the private of the woman. Go and read Songs of Solomon. It's there in the Bible that you carry. Yet no, no pastors, no go read them. Ah, uh -uh. no, it's a sin. Churches don't talk about it. It's a sin. Look at the level of divorces that is happening today around the world. Look at the level of divorces. It's a disaster. Just check out the level of divorces. Pastors are leaving their wives. Their wives are leaving their husbands. Christian brothers are divorcing. Christian sisters are divorcing. Ask yourself, what is the problem? Is what I'm teaching you now. It's what I'm teaching you now. Is what I'm teaching you now. Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. A generation where, where women think you can keep a man by pumping your buttocks. These days, anything can be bought. Buttocks is bought. Breast is bought. Everything is fake these days. Belly, fake. Eyelash is fake. Face, fake. Everything fake. That can't keep a man. So, 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 so men, look at me. Men now are drinking. I have so much to share. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I can be able to finish this tonight. Let, let me digress a bit. Let me talk to the men briefly. Satisfying your woman is what makes you a man, not because you provide for her. Any idiot can provide for a woman, but not every person can satisfy a woman. What makes you a man is how much you deal with your woman on bed. So I want to talk to men briefly. What makes you a man is not what you carry down there, whether it is long, whether it is short, whether it is small or big. That's not the point. So, so, so because of this, a lot of men now have damaged their manhood. They are drinking Viagra. They are, they are taking all kinds of Agbo, uh, uh, Agbo Jedi, Agbo this one, Agbo stand up, and different kind of drugs just to make sure they satisfy the woman. When your woman is happy with you, when your womb, oh my God, there are many ways to make a woman satisfied. When the first way, let our emotions be stable. The second way is foreplay. It has been scientifically proven. Oh my God. I, I, am I talking to people? It has been scientifically proven that 95% of women do not ejaculate, they not get to climax through penetration. It has been scientifically proven that 95% of women do not get to ejaculate, do not get to climax just through penetration. So foreplay is important. Learn it. Learn it. Men, learn it. Be humble enough to learn it. If you don't want to learn it, stay single. 
leave women alone. You can become a gay. It's not a problem. It's your choice. But you say you want to be with a woman? The woman body is very complicated. The woman body is like, it's, it's like a laptop. You have to browse it. Am I speaking to somebody? You have to browse it. D different women with different body systems and body structure. Foreplay is important. You don't know how to do foreplay. Learn it. Ask your, discuss it. Which brings me to the next point. Another reason why the bed is dead, why sexual relationship is not sweet for, for people, marriages, is because people don't talk about it. When last did you talk about your sex life with your partner? No, when last do you talk about it? When last did you have a discussion about it? When last did you talk about it? When last the both of you sit down and say, listen, babe, the man asks, babe, are you satisfied? Did you come? Is there anything I need to do? Is there anything I need to do? Is there anything I need to work on? Is there, is, there, is there something you like that I'm not doing? Is there, is there something I'm doing that you don't like? Talk about it. It helps you to know the dislikes and the likes of your partner. It's important. This is so important. For those who care to listen on. It's not everybody that cares to listen. For those who care to listen. If you have not followed me on this page, follow me right now. If you have not followed me, follow me right now. Follow me right now. Subscribe to our page. Those of you on YouTube, subscribe to our page. Those of you on Facebook, click on the follow button. Those of you on TikTok, click on the follow button. Follow me. If you have not followed me so that you don't miss out. God spoke to me. He told me, he said, one million marriages this year from this ministry. One million marriages. One million marriages. Tomorrow I'm going to be dealing with the spiritual part of your love life. But today I want to break down this because it's important. Talk about it. Talk about it. Explain it. If you have, if if you want to, if you want to share with me how this broadcast is blessed, you can send me a request. I'll connect you live. I'll connect you live. Those of you on TikTok, on Facebook, I'll connect you live. I'll connect you like it's important it's high time people's mind are orientated marriages are dying marriages are dying i know what i'm talking about i get calls from all over the world all over the world it's one complaint is that my husband is cheating uh, papa i don't have feelings for my husband anymore Check it is boys down to the bed. There is nothing you give a woman that will satisfy a woman. Give her all the money in the world. She still needs you sexually. Please send in your request right now. Send in your request. Uh, those of you on, on TikTok, you can send us a request. Those of you on Facebook, you can send a request. If, if you have a question, you, you want to ask me, you can type it as a comment session. Life is beautiful when knowledge is released. Knowledge is important too. Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Hello? 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 Hello. Bless you, bless you. Good evening, Where? my love, God. Good evening. God bless you. Thank you. Where are you calling from? from South Africa. Oh, where in South Africa? Africa? Sorry? Victoria. Okay. Can you please speak up so I can hear you? So what's 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 your contribution or you want to tell me how this has blessed you? Or what, what do you want to say? No, I really love your teaching. I love your teaching right on time. I've been following you on Facebook and I, I just followed you, find out that you're also on TikTok today, so I joined 
I oh. followed you on TikTok. Okay. So I love your teaching. It's really, really beautiful. Thank you. Especially when you talked about men. When you, when you talk about men, you hit the nails very well on your head. <laughs> I wish my husband is always listening and taking... <laughs> no, seriously, you hit the nails very well. <laughs> Wow. I wish he always listens to your to your teaching because I do send it to him sometimes. Mm. When I get your videos, I show it to him. I send it to him. When I see the one you talk to women or, or talk about women also, I also it grabs my 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 your attention. My sense. Uh, thank you. Thank yeah, you for think, my attention. Yes, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. God bless even, you. Even today's teaching, today's teaching also. I, I I love it when you when you talk, but sometimes sometimes it's it, it's when the way the part you said we should seduce them. I don't you know there's some of them that doesn't deserve some of them when they do things to be women. You feel as if it doesn't they don't deserve to be seduced. That is why that is why I spoke about because it. That's why the, that's why my first point. That's why my first point was emotional stability. That's why that was the first point. Because once your woman is emotionally stable, then every other point I've given tonight, I'm still going to give two more points, so please, guys, don't go anywhere. After your woman is emotionally stable, not just your woman, your man too has to be emotionally stable. Because when your man is not emotionally stable, he can't perform. That's one thing people, women don't understand. A man's manhood won't come up if he's not, if he's not emotionally stable. No matter your seduction, no matter whatever you do, Nothing will work as long as that man does not have peace or is not emotionally stable. Yeah. So, please, I know you said we should type our question, but as I am up here, let me just ask one or two questions. Can you tell me, a man that deals with deals with polygamous marriage, whereby the two wives don't live together, what would the woman do? The woman, well, the woman, the woman, no, the hold on, sweetheart. The, the, the woman knew what she was entering. Because I believe that no woman wants to be a second wife. So the woman knew what she was entering. She signed it before she entered into it. She knew what she was entering. I personally, if I was a woman, I would not be a second wife to a man. Me personally. But, you know, she knew what she was entering before she entered it. So that there's always going to be a fracas in that issue. There's going to be a serious fracas when it comes to polygamy. The man cannot be able to perform 100% to two women. Satisfying one woman is enough headache. Not to talk about satisfying two women. Satisfying three women. So men even have five women. It's, 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 it's suicidal. It's suicidal. So, so, so you, you're trying to say that even if, if, if even if he's not into... Uh, polygamous marriage. Is it much better that he was cheating but still come back home? Or is it much better that he's married to that just two women? Sweetheart, a man that cheats have not yet hit the revelation of being faithful. And it takes the grace of God for a man that cheats to change. You get what I'm saying? Once a man starts cheating, it yes, takes the grace of God for that man to change. That man needs a reorientation in his mindset to understand that there is nothing that second woman out there has that the woman inside the house does not have. That's where the Holy Spirit and mentorship comes in. But if a man starts cheating, I had always advised the woman, if you cannot take it, delete his ass out of your life. It's as simple as that. But if you can take it with your prayers and your fasting and your sowing of your seed and meet with a prophet that can handle, sometimes it's spiritual, which I'm going to handle tomorrow. Sometimes it's, it, it might be spiritual. It might be from his background. So sometimes it's just stupidity. So we check which one is the problem. I will be able to give a proper counsel. Thank but, you. Yes, but you're saying, you're talking about the part of cheating, right? So and I asked, which one is much better? Him marrying the woman into the house, just having 
So if you're a woman, so let me ask you. Which one is I'm saying that you already married a cheater. Obviously, you married a man that doesn't love you. Because when a man loves you, he can't cheat on you. So bringing the woman into the house. Let me tell you something about cheating men that you don't understand. If a man has a girlfriend outside and has a wife inside, even that girlfriend he's cheating his wife on, he's also cheating on that girlfriend. Because that's not the only girlfriend we have. Some men have four or five girlfriends that are side chicks. So is he going to marry every one of them into the house? It doesn't make sense. So this is where the woman has to stand her ground in prayers and walk, to it, walk on it spiritually. Hallelujah. So that's that's just it. That's just the bitter truth. You know, life is so deep. Life is so deep. Life is so deep. I don't know if I'm blessing people here. Are you enjoying the service? Every man that cheats does not have only one girlfriend he cheats with. Please get connected. Just get connected quickly back. Hallelujah. All right. So the last thing, what is someone supposed to do if he meets yourself with such a man? <laughs> well, I just told you. I just told you. I just told you. I just told you. Another thing that brings um, the bed from, you know, not being active and this is is work pressure work pressure work pressure in this life where everybody needs to survive you need to go out and find food for your family there's a whole lot of work pressure mostly on the man we may understand that it's not easy to be a man i'm not trying to support no man but i'm telling you a reality Sometimes the man comes back drained. And that is why every woman must create an atmosphere of peace for her man. Because sometimes the man comes back home drained up emotionally, psychologically, pressure from work, pressure to pay the rent, pressure for children's school fees, pressure for family men. You know, so there's a whole lot of pressure on the man. And sometimes we men are so arrogant that we suck things up. We don't like to express it. So if what a woman will cry about, a man will suck it up. And you will pretend as if everything is well, but not, nothing is well. That is why you must be a woman that your man can talk to. You must be a woman that your man can confide in. Your man should be able to cry on your show. Do you think it's only women that cry? Men cry too. There are a period in a man's life where a man just needs a woman's shoulder to cry on. Am I helping somebody here? There are periods in a man's life where, where a man just needs a woman. That's why, that's why it's so important that every man watching me now should understand this. You should have a woman that is not just your woman, but your mother. She's your sister, your friend. Listen, pressure, pressure can make him, a man can be making love to you. And suddenly he goes down. And you try to read, you try to make the thing come up again. It's not coming up. It's pressure. It's pressure. At that point in time, it's not for you to start saying, what is this? Are you a one minute man? What kind of rubbish is this? Is to is to caress his emotions, is to is to is to massage his ego, let him feel that no no baby it's fine you're under pressure, massage your man, say nice words to him, you're, there is a way you treat your partner. I'm talking to the women right now. I'm talking to the women right now. How you treat your man, that means how your man will treat you sexually. It's very, very important. Pressure can make a man not to be able to perform sexually. When a man is pressured from work, from business, from family, stress. So 
So it's so important that you understand that. It's not every time uh, there must be a check and balance. I have told the men, make sure your woman is emotionally stable. Women have their own needs. So make sure your woman is stable. On the side of the woman, leave your arrogance and your pride because some women cannot be married because of their mentality. Some women cannot hold a marriage. Check your mother. Your mother was divorced twice because of the same attitude. So you, do, you don't have to be stupid enough to follow the traits of your mother. It's a reality. When they talk to you like this, it, it, it feels as if someone is insulting. Nobody's insulting you. I'm just opening your brain to understand that to him, brain is given. Sense is expected. You can make your relationship work when you treat your man as a king. And you can make your, ma your relationship work when you treat your woman as a queen. So both of you have a responsibility. Both of you have a responsibility. I don't care whether you're the one making the money in the house. Because sometimes, listen, 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 without due respect to women, you know I support you every time. You know it. You know I love you guys. I support you guys. But let me tell you this. It has been scientifically proven that 70% of women ask for divorce more than men, mostly when they earn higher than the man. That's the, that's the reality. Mostly when they earn higher than the man. Very few. Very few women earn higher than the man and still respect the man. This demon of feminism has made a lot of women to be single mothers. Divorces. The spirit of feminism which you have to fight because if you don't fight it, it will follow your children. This is your mentality. I don't need a man. I don't need a man. When you are 60, you will understand the damage you have done to your destiny. No man, I don't need nobody. I can afford what I have. When I hear some of you talk, I know the I know the reason why a man can't stay in your life. Listen, don't misunderstand me. I know there are some there are some men that don't want it. Oh yeah. There are some men that don't want it at all. I know. But there are, there are some women, Jesus. I love you guys. Let me know the country and the city you're watching from. I want to pray right now. I believe I've blessed you. I believe I've blessed you. And... Um, I believe I blessed you. And what about if he is the type that keeps his problem to himself? Well, <sighs> the comments are going so fast that I can hardly can see America, Ghana. Love you too. Um. Trinidad and Tobago, Canada, United States, God bless you. Cameroon, Canada, God bless you. Jamaica, Australia, Botswana, Nigeria, New Jersey, America, United States, quite a number of the United States today. New Jersey, Lagos, St. Martins, Australia, Germany, wow. Cameroon, Lagos, Zambia, Alhambra State, Germany, Manchester, United States, and uh, Manchester, UK, sorry, Turkey, United Kingdom, Arizona in America, Malawi, Switzerland. Wow. California, England. All right, thank you so much for watching. You are blessed. Your favorite, I declare a blessing over you. I declare that your marriage, your relationship will work. God will give you the wisdom that you need to keep your relationship. 
God will give you wisdom. You need to keep your relationship. I'm declaring again, God will give you wisdom. You need to keep your relationship. It is well with you in Jesus' name. I want to encourage you today, if you have not partnered with me, if you love what God is using me to do, I want to reach out to more women. We are planning to have programs all over the world. Your partnership is so important. If you love to partner with me on a monthly basis, you want to be a partner, a financial partner, please DM me, those of you on TikTok, you can DM me and just say, man of God, I want to be a part of your ministry. I believe in what God is using you to do. Please DM me. Very important for my WhatsApp number. I'll give you all the details when it comes to the partnership. Those of you on Facebook, the number is on the screen. As my personal number, remember, I don't send friend requests to people on Facebook. I do not chat with people on Messenger. The only place to talk to me is my WhatsApp number, plus 234-913-860-8712. That's the only number to reach me. You need my number, DM me, I send it to you. Those of you on Facebook, you have it. Those of you on YouTube, God bless you. Thank you. My number is on my profile. You can get it on those of you on YouTube. I love you guys. You guys are the best that any prophet can ask for. It is well with you. It is well with your home. It is well with your family. In the name of Jesus. Now, those of you, if you would love to give a seed, you want to plant in a seed, you want to say to me, Papa, thank you for what you have taught us tonight. I want to sow a seed to you. Please just send me a WhatsApp message on plus 234-913-860-8712. That's the number, plus 234-913-860-8712. I say it one more time, plus 234-913-860-8712. I also love to know how this message has blessed you tonight. So you can send me a short voice note. Let me know how this message has blessed you. I love you guys. Shalom.